YouTube. All right, so unfortunately, I will not be on the water this week. I figured I would just go ahead and let you guys know that. Uh, so in returns, I kind of planned something to keep you guys entertained while I'm gone, and that was to go ahead and do an uh, awesome giveaway. Uh, you guys are gonna, I think you guys are gonna like this. A lot of you guys know I've been uh, tied in with line cutters as field staff, been putting in a lot of work, you know, and um, representing it like crazy in all my videos. You guys can obviously tell, you know, every video I'm telling you guys, it's all about line cutters and so on and so forth. If you're not familiar with line cutters, um, I actually have a video of a product review uh, that I did of what the actual line cutters ring is for and how it could be used. Um, but I can give you guys the basics for right now. Uh, basically, what it is is that you have a ring on your finger or you can mount it to your kayak or your trolling motor handle. Uh, you can even mount it to the back of your hat. As you can see, I keep one on the back of my hat as well. Um, you can mount it to your fishing rod. And what it does is it cuts fishing lines. So you no longer need to use your teeth. You no longer need to carry rusted old nail clippers or scissors or anything like that with you. Actually, I'll do a quick demonstration. Uh, you probably can't even see this in view. But this is 25-pound P-Line CXX. Some of the thickest line that I use, I actually throw approximately around five to seven ounce swim baits on this line and I trust it dearly and uh, you can see the line cutters ring cuts it like butter um, so yeah that's what a line cutters ring is and you guys to start you'll, if you're gonna enter this giveaway you'll actually gather some information from the links that I'm gonna be leaving down below which is gonna be some requirements for you to be entered into this giveaway um, but before we jump into the giveaway, I actually want to do a product review within this video. Line Cutters came out with a rod cover, and this rod cover is beyond unique, most unique that I've seen. Um, I've had some of those little dinky Walmart rod covers. I mean, they somewhat did the job. However, uh, they weren't as impressive as the Line Cutters uh, rod covers that they came out with. And... If you're like me, you're spending, you know, anywhere from $100 to $180 on a rod, maybe even more, and keeping that rod protected, it protected is a must. And so I have, you know, I've had my my rods <coughs> where they've got beat up because, you know, the rod cover wasn't, you know, durable, or having my rod in the back of the truck with those Walmart cheapy rod covers and those things flying off the rod, you know, you get to your fishing location, you're like, holy crap, I had a rod cover on here, I guess it blew off. Well, Lines Cutters came out with this uh, rod cover, and this thing is phenomenal. You guys are going to see what I'm talking about. We're going to go ahead and jump into the product review. I'm going to roll around the camera and just give you a close-up view of it. Uh, but before I do, you guys can see here. So you can probably see there's a band that is connected to the rod cover. You have a wide open gap, which is very nice within this area so if your rod handles are you know wider than the others um, you have that open distance uh, it has the line cutters logo it has what size it is on the back uh, and then you have your material which goes all the way of course in the center of the rod I have a very long rod this is an eight foot swim bait rod uh, now what you see here is what's really unique. Now this is the actual tip that has been filled with foam so it keeps your tip of your rod protected. Now a lot of us has put our rods in the truck with a rod cover thinking it's going to be safe. However, if you have you know the long rod like I do, it tends to bounce up and down in the back of the truck or sometimes you accidentally you know bang the, the truck bed up against the tip and then next thing you know your tips broken now this has a very protective uh, foam in the inside and then what they also did on top of that was did a solid thick paint on the top of it it looks like they added some kind of material on the tip tip area so it's not going to open up on you and then a solid paint um, and what that solid paint does is seal the material so you know like you guys know the material on a rod cover is like breathable or whatnot uh, but with this, it's actual more protection for your rod cover. Now I can squeeze on it and I can fill the foam 
but I cannot fill the rod tip, so that's what's really good. Your rod tip is basically placed within that foamed area. Um, I'll take the rod cover off as well and just give you a rundown with it being off of the rod so it's a little bit more easier to see. Um, but I wanted to show you guys how it actually does connect onto your bait caster to keep it from flying off in the back of the truck or what have you. Uh, you can tie it on different ways. I mean, you can place it over your your bait caster handles, or for instance, if you don't have your bait caster on, uh, you can even you know twist it around and then have it mounted like I'll show you right there, like that, where it kind of ties onto it. So just a simple knot, and it'll hold on. Um, or you can even go all the way down to the finger rest area here and keep it mounted like so. Uh, or another thing you can do too, if you don't have your bait caster on your rods, for a lot of people they take their bait casters off and they keep their bait casters in their backpacks and then they just have their rods. You can place your line cutters ring here and use that for the actual grip to hold your rod cover on. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and take this off and then I'm going to give you guys a close up of what it looks like. So there you go, you got your line cutters logo and here's how your bungee cord is on. And when I stated that to put your line cutters ring on your rod, what another thing you can do if you're worried about your line cutters ring cutting into the bungee, you can place a rubber band around the line cutters ring area so it will not be cut, it, it won't have the cutting functionality or whatnot. Um, so yeah, and then your bungee cord to be safe. Uh, so there's the extra tip, uh, tip protection that I was telling you about, and it's probably I probably can't show you the inside. Yeah, it's not going to be possible to show you the inside, but you can see it actually has a bulge around, so it's you know protected. It doesn't seek in like how this would, where you could just squish it down together. Um, this has a lot of protection, and I think that's what the paint does as well. It keeps it more open. So pretty awesome right there. And these are running for a very reasonable price, you know, and like I said, if you got expensive rods, you know, <laughs> there's no problem with keeping an expensive rod fully protected. I mean, you can just throw your rod in the back of your truck the way it is without a rod protector, but, you know, you're going to end up messing up your rod and having to replace it. I personally, when I'm taking two rods with me, I usually have a bass rod and then a swim bait rod. And I'll keep my rod covers on my uh, rods when I'm out fishing. So say I'm using my, uh, my bass setup, I'll have my rod covers still on my swim bait setup as it sits against the bush or up against the rock. So, that, you know, this thing is going to keep it definitely safe. All right, jumping into the giveaway. Uh, I figured I would just share that with you guys. If you're looking for a decent rod cover, you guys, here's the place to go. Line cutters, baby. And um, they have different sizes. It's really easy to. What you do is go on their site. I'll be leaving all the links down below. Go on their site. And, for instance, mine was an 8-foot rod. So it's going to tell you the different sizes. So you can go up to an 8-foot rod or even bigger. Um, but on the chart, it'll tell you, you know, XXL for, you know, a specific size. And basically what you do is go off of what your rod says. If it says 8 foot, then order an 8 foot rod cover. Plain and simple. Um, so yeah, for the giveaway, you guys, uh, we got some Gary Automotos. These are the Watermelon Black Flake Cinco's. I'm throwing in some what I call finesse hooks. Basically, these are the owners. These are size 1. So I'll be giving you guys a close-up view of them as well. I'm um, throwing in some Mustad. These are three odd, five, the quality of five uh, Mustad KVD hooks. And for the big top notch part of the giveaway, line cutters ring, baby. This is actually a glow in the dark line cutters ring. I figured, you know what, it's time for me to give back to the community. And for those of you who are skeptical on actually buying one, here's your opportunity to win one. And I guarantee you, this will totally change your gameplay in fishing, you guys. This line cutters ring is phenomenal. This is a glow in the dark one, it's unique. And a lot of you guys know me, I fish at night. And so. What I, what I like about the glow-in-the-dark one is I'm out fishing at night. All I got to do is, you know, I'm able to see 
where, I, where, where I'm going to basically cut my line and stuff instead of having to dig out a flashlight, look for a knife, you know, use that knife and that flashlight at the same time to be able to see what I'm cutting. Now you got a glow in the dark ring. You just put your line on there. It cuts tag lines. It cuts fishing line. 100 pound braid. You name it. It's going to cut it. So I figured this is going to be the unique part of the giveaway, you guys, is to give you guys the opportunity to win a line cutter's ring and get you involved. We got more giveaways coming. And so here, here's another gig of the giveaway. What I want to see, if you guys have line cutters rings as well, I want to see some videos uh, with you guys with the line cutters ring. Go to the line cutters Facebook page. Post up some pictures of your fish with your line cutters rings, um, and. You know, and let me know you did it, and then I'll check it out and stuff like that too. And then you know, for the future giveaways, um, that'll automatically add you into the giveaway. So for this giveaway, how to be entered is: I want you to go to the Line Cutters uh, YouTube page. I want you to subscribe to their to their YouTube page. Also, go to the Facebook page. I want you to follow their Facebook page, and. Um, one thing I, I do want is for you to definitely be a subscriber to my channel, like the video, and then comment, I'm in. So it's easy steps, you guys. I'll also be leaving down below in the description on, on how to enter. So go to the YouTube page of Line Cutters, make sure you're a subscriber. Go to the Facebook page of Line Cutters, make sure you're following them and you thumbs them up. Trust me, you'll love all the stuff that they got going on. Um, you know, they really put out for the community and for us anglers. Uh, and then make sure you're a subscriber to my channel. Make sure you like this video and comment only one time, please. I'm in. That simple. I'm in. Please do not comment more than once. If you do, I'll have to delete the comment because it makes it super hard for me to go through all the comments and pick the winner. So comment down below, I'm in. And then follow the rest of the steps and you are in. And we're going to do this giveaway for, let's do it for two weeks. So the day that I upload this video, We'll go two weeks from then, and then I'll draw the winner, and I'll also do um, a winner, winner, chicken dinner video of who won. So, <clears throat> once again, I'll get you guys a close-up of what the items are. So, you got some Gary Automotos. These are the 5-inch Watermelon Black Flake Cinco's. Mustad KVD 3-aught uh, hooks. Owners, size 1 hooks. And the awesome line cutters ring, baby. So, yeah, buddy. That sums it up. Good luck to you guys. Much love and respects. And uh, see you guys in two weeks for this giveaway. And I'm sure I'm going to sneak out and go fish. I always say I'm not going to fish for a week and then I end up going anyways. But I do got some appointments and things I do need to take care of. So, you're not going to get the day one, day two fishing video out of me this week. So, yeah, buddy. Much love and respects. Make sure you follow all the rules within the giveaway and then in two weeks we'll be drawing the winner and I will be checking and making sure that you did follow the steps if you didn't then you basically get skipped and I pick another winner so that's just how it is so easy rules I'll be leaving everything down below on how to enter so much love I'm up and out Peace.